Hey guys, Sue Lepre here. Thank you so much for asking me to be on your call today. Mindy, what an honor, what a privilege. Um, you know, I was just saying um, to Monica, I joined, <laughs> I joined Beachbody and before I actually watched any of my upline like coaches videos, even my own coach, somehow some way when i youtube beach body coach and how to be a coach um i got mindy Hort. and now granted i had no idea who she was um i had no idea what she represented but for some reason um 20 about 24 hours later um i was stuck watching almost every video that mindy ever posted and created and then i guess it was like six months later before i even remembered that happened um because everything's a whirlwind when you start right and i wanted to first tell you a little bit about me um, and my background but when i first officially started my beach body journey it was I guess it was like 2007 when my girlfriend said to me, Sue, you're in great shape. And at this time I was lifeguarding in New Jersey and she said, I wanna get in great shape too. And I saw this infomercial for something called P90X and I want you to do it with me. And we were driving back and forth to work together. So I decided that since I only lived a couple miles away, I would bike to her house at 4.30 in the morning. We would do P90X and um, then we would drive to work together. And then I would go home and bike home. So P90X changed our lives changed our lives completely and it wasn't until years later that I started with another beach body program and that was in July 2015 so I officially um, grew up in New Jersey uh, born and raised Jersey girl that would probably explain the crazy hair don't care um, and I moved down to Florida when I met the man of my dreams and got married and here I am seven and a half years later still married um, living in Hollywood Florida and I, I guess it was somewhere along the lines of about four years ago where I was going to graduate school full time, working two full time jobs and I just kind of lost myself somewhere. I lost myself in the confusion of people pleasing. I lost myself in who I wanted to be and who I was and who I wasn't going to be. And there was a lot of lack of self-care, um, there was self-doubt. My focus was on graduate school. Um, my focus was on really creating um, my life with education. I've been in the field of autism for 14 years now and it's been my passion. And I kind of um, just fell into the field of autism when back in like 2008, my girlfriend said to me, well, Sue, you owe me money for our gym membership. Cause I was always pretty active. Um, and I was like, oh, okay, fine, I owe you money. And she's like, yeah, so I have a job like teaching at the Douglas Developmental Disability Center at Rutgers University. I got you a job there. And I was like, what? And I kind of just fell into it. And it seems like a series of things that have happened in my life that I've just fallen into. And they like Beachbody. Um, and I've just taken them. I'm kind of a all in, all or nothing type of person. So when I go in, I go big. Um, I am completely afraid of failure, completely still afraid of what other people think of me, but just a lot less now. Um, you know, I've taken that um, stand where if people don't pay my bills, I don't give a shit what they think about me. I don't say that out loud a lot, but I'm saying it to you now because it's important to me. It's important to me right now. You know, so when I signed up for Beachbody, um, July 2015, it had turned out about eight months before my gynecologist had said to me, Sue, you're 220 pounds, and if you really want to have a healthy future, um, if you want to have children, you have to lose weight. And it hurt. And for months before that, between grad school and just life happening around me, I ate my feelings. And I was rarely on social media posting. I was rarely in the back. Uh, I was rarely in the front of photos. I was always the one hiding in the back. I was always the person that felt less than. I was always the person that felt never good enough. I was always the person that felt like I didn't deserve a chance at being anything great. I was always the person that felt stuck in the body that I had. And I was always the person that thought good things would never happen to me. That changed a lot 
It changed a lot, and today I want to talk to you about three things, belief, training, and support. I want to talk to you about the reason why I became a discount coach in July 2015. It's because I really just wanted to lose 50 pounds. I was so sick and tired of being sick and tired of being fat. And I will say it over and over again because that's just my truth. My truth is that when you have low self-esteem, you can't and are unwilling to believe that anything good will ever happen. I couldn't. I had no belief system. And despite my higher education and my 4.0 summa cum laude graduation from Nova Southeastern University with a master's degree in developmental disabilities and a concentration in applied behavior analysis, I was so unhappy when I looked in the mirror. I was so unhappy with the person that I saw looking back. And I tried to make some changes on my own. I saw my mom losing weight and saw other people around me losing weight. And I kept thinking, why can't I? I was so stuck in this mindset of never, ever, ever being good enough. I was so stuck in the disillusionment that was less than. And I'm here to tell you that when I started to believe in me, and even from day one of ordering that 21 day fix challenge pack, I told my coach, I'm literally gonna return it in 29 days because it's not gonna work for me. It might work for you, it's not gonna work for me. So I had entered her challenge group and that's where the support really came in. I learned that if I wanted self-esteem, I had to do esteemable things. And that seemed like a big aha moment to me. Like that was huge. After that week one, after those 21 days, I'd lost 12 pounds. And I started feeling like change was possible. And I started feeling like it could, it could turn out to be just the thing I needed. But I wasn't sharing my story yet. I wasn't sharing my journey. I kept it a secret. And I think a lot of new coaches do that. Um, a lot of new customers do that, right? The people who are watching me, I always felt like are waiting for me to fail. And you know what? I fell forward. I, I lost 30 pounds. And in October 2015, I was diagnosed with alopecia areata. And I started losing my hair. And I thought it was because of shingles. I really did. I really thought that I'd started this new way of life and I'd lost weight and now I'm losing my hair. And I really felt so overwhelmed and I thought about quitting so many times. And I literally had a bald spot on my head, which I now have hair regrowing in. So this entire area up here was completely bald last January. Trust me, I have before and after pictures. <laughs> um, it was bald, and I have two other bald spots, which are s slowly growing back in. And that's why you always see me wearing my hair in a bun. But when my dermatologist told me that his wife had been drinking Shakeology for years, and he said, um, you know, write a food journal. And I showed him my food journal. I was like, oh, I have it right here. And he's like, oh, Shakeology. My wife has been drinking that for years. Keep drinking it. And I was like, what? And he started steroid injections. And at that time, I had also got diagnosed with shingles. So I've had shingles 18 times in two years. And let me just tell you, the excruciating pain of shingles is like nothing I've ever felt in my life. You know, I've gone through a lot of emotional pain and turmoil, right? Yeah. That I can handle. Shingles pain is something of a whole new level. And every single day, I thought about quitting again. Two months later, I had lost 50 pounds because I didn't stop shingles pain no pain hair no hair I was working a full-time job and my coach said to me sue you have to share your transformation it's incredible in january 2016 i did i finally said you know what i believe i could and i did and if i can help one person one person have a little bit of belief in themselves and it's completely, completely worth it, completely worth it. And I shared that transformation within a week. It was actually right around the time the Punta Cana trip came. And my coach told me, just get online and try to register for Punta Cana. And I'm like, what the hell? There are all these qualifications. I don't even know what Success Club means. And she's like, just register anyway. And it turns out I registered and I got the most expensive room there. 
I remember walking around with my laptop like refresh, refresh. And that was another aha moment for me. Thinking that I just shared this transformation. I'm registering for a success club trip when I didn't even know what success club meant. Even though I had watched all of Mindy's videos, not knowing who she was months before. And I hit success club 20 in January. And when I got that first email saying I had tripped dollars in February, it was on. It was on. I started hosting my first challenge groups on Facebook, free clean eating groups. I began to recognize that all I needed was to know my own value. And I finally started seeing that I'm capable. That by doing esteemable things every single day, I started to grow self-esteem. At 32, 33 years old, I felt like I had belonged somewhere. I had felt like I had been a com part of this community, this accountability. People that didn't even know me were cheering me on and rooting me on and sending me lime green hearts and congratulating me. And my family started reaching out to me. And it was probably one of the most powerful experiences of my life. Knowing that I made a decision, I just stuck to it. And I had decided that when Christina Delgado and Diesel Nation had announced this push to diamond group, why not me? Why not? So in March 2016, just two months after sharing that transformation post, I hit diamond. Just two months. Why not me? March 2017 came. Okay, first, Summit came in Nashville. Holy mind blown. I went to every training, soaked it all in, and my business started growing and growing and growing. And by no fault of my own, I just kept sharing what I was doing, and I kept believing in me. And I just kept sharing. I knew my value. I knew exactly what I had to offer people, even though I still have no idea. But I think it's better to know nothing <laughs> And to just keep learning as you're going because I failed forward. So when I started to recognize the value that Beachbody had in my life, it not only gave me a life, but it saved my life. Because I was at the point where I didn't want to get out of bed. You know, the shingles pain was so bad. Still, I didn't want to get out of bed in most days. I didn't know if I could continue to do it, but I did it anyway. On the days where I felt like giving up, I reached out to my accountability group. I reached out to my support group. I did those four be be vital behaviors, three at the time, now four, every single day. I read 12 personal development books, and I hate reading books. Um, and I've listened to 12 personal development audiobooks of 24 in less than 24 months. That's a win. For me, that's a win. I have calendars and scheduling. I started to become accountable, not just to me, but to myself. And I think it all changed for me when I came home from, from Summit in Nashville. And I remember, God, I remember seeing people cross that stage and saying, I wanted to be there next year. Why not me? And I listened to a team call that Christina did where she shared her income with us. And knowing that she had, I think at the time, three business centers and she had hit the, you know, million dollar mark and, and she actually shared her income. And I was like, why not me? Why not? Why not this Jersey girl? Why not? Why not me? I'm fucking worth it. I am worth it. I just kept believing that I'm worth it. And people kept telling me, Sue, you're worth it. You can do it. Why not? Set your goals high. Dream high. Keep going every single day. And that's what I did. You know? But the one thing that I really did when it came to March 2017, um, and I hit one star diamond. Uh, the one thing that I did was I created an action plan. And I joined all of Robbie Carter's diamond push groups and every group that I could show, every single group that I can join. And I'm up till two o'clock in the morning working a full-time job and working out. If you follow me, you see my workouts are at 10 p.m. and I do it anyway. I do it because it makes me feel good. I hate working out. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. But I love the results. Do I love showing up every single day to my business? Absolutely not, but yes, because it keeps me going. I need this. I was at a point where I was desperate. And I think that if there's no urgency and you're not desperate, you're not gonna make any change. And I want to change and I still want change and I am pushing for change. And I think for me it was with all the trainings. 
um, the change came in trainings. So somebody told me I had to set my goals even higher. I think it was Benjo, and he's like, maybe you should join the classic. And about, um, um, I was on the wait list, and about a month before the classic, um, I was off the wait list. Now, granted, I was telling everybody I'm competing in the classic, but I wasn't actually off the wait list. <laughs> Which seems crazy, which seems crazy. So I went from 220 pounds, not believing in myself, not wanting to take pictures, not wanting to post anything on Facebook, to, oh my God, I have to order a bikini because I'm going into the Beach Buddy Classic. I ordered it a week before the Classic. Um, I had no idea what I was doing. My friends helped me along, they sent me meal plans, <laughs> sent me videos to do. I did Brazil butt lift. I did two and three workouts a day. I dropped 10 pounds before the Classic. Um, peak week, I spent in Aruba at my sister-in-law's wedding. Um, and then New Orleans getting that stage. I was frozen moments before because it all came rushing back to me. So you're 220 pounds. You don't deserve to be walking across that stage. And I had these three girls there, one with pink hair, one with purple hair, and one with blue hair who are all patting me on the back and butt gluing me into my bathing suit. And I recognized that I was worth it again. So I've had these dips and moments where disbelief and, and self-worth were questioned and I had people cheering me on and rooting me on the whole time. I think the one thing that always worked best for me was when I was at that low point, I told people. When I was at that high point, I rooted other people on. You know, the days that I didn't feel like showing up, I went double, I went double what I had to do. I made a written plan, I joined push groups. And um, as of this week, um, I qualify for Two Star Diamond. Unbelievable. I have no idea what I'm doing still. That's okay. I'm learning as I go and I'm failing a lot. But I'm not stopping. I will not quit. I absolutely will not give up no matter what happens. Hair or no hair, shingles or no shingles, I will not fucking give up. I know my value. I bleed beach body blue. And if there's one thing, if there's one thing that I'd like you to take home from this entire message, which I don't even know how long I've gone and I'm sorry, I think I've cried like six times. If there's one thing I want you to take home. Never, ever stop believing. Life's gonna show up. And it's shown up for me big time if you know me personally and I just keep showing up. So when you feel like giving up, when you feel like quitting, you've only just begun to tap into that power within, that belief. And if you don't believe in yourself, believe that I believe in you. You're worth it. I know your value and I don't even know you. If you're on Mindy's team, you're valuable. We're all valuable. We all have something to offer. And today, when you finish your day, happy Friday. <laughs> know that this is your time. If you haven't hit Success Club yet, it's no big deal. You can today. Share, be true, be you, be vulnerable, and never, ever stop believing. Signing off, guys. Thanks for having me.